Hello everyone, this is Smriti. Welcome to QA automation classes. And in the last session, we have seen right how to implement the thread local and the thread guard dot protect method to protect your uh, web driver uh, instance and uh, so that they can execute parallelly without any issues. And uh, that one we have seen in the last session. And today, uh, this is the class number 30, and uh, we'll be seeing how to get rid of the web driver manager since we are using an advanced version of the web driver we don't need web driver manager so why exactly i have used web driver manager from the beginning because i just wanted to show if anyone is using the older version of the selenium they can still use the web driver manager in their framework right and since we are already in the advanced uh, selenium if you see the selenium jar is uh, 4.12.1 the dependency is 4.12 right from the selenium 4.6 okay the selenium is providing selenium manager okay so it is already there in the selenium and we don't uh, need to set uh, the system dot set properties okay earlier what we usually we are doing before web driver manager also so earlier we used to do first system dot set property we used to pass the what is the name of the driver and what is the driver path like chrome driver path or edge driver path or geco driver path right we need to pass that path and we have to download that drivers and keep it in that path right and then uh, we used to instance the driver, driver request to new Chrome driver or Firefox or whatever, right? So we are instantiating the uh, driver instance there. Then what happened? Then we uh, had a uh, third party library that is called as the web driver manager. So with that web driver manager, we didn't have to download these uh, drivers. So it was to take care of those things by itself, okay? So that is the web driver manager that was developed by the Bone Gracia, okay? So now what happened? Uh, after that, uh, when the Selenium advances, they felt the need of this uh, external dependency, right? Whatever is doing, so they thought, okay, why not we give that in the Selenium itself, right? So from Selenium 4.6, if you see, they have implemented the Selenium manager. So let's see the Selenium manager here, okay? So say Selenium manager, Selenium manager, okay? So go to the Selenium dev only and you can see here. So what they are saying, get a introducing Selenium manager. So get a working environment to run Selenium out of the box with a new beta feature. This is already in the beta stage. So this is again by the same Boni Gracia, the guy who developed this web driver manager, the same person is developing this one, so Selenium manager. And uh, now it is, uh, okay, so, okay, so Selenium now with the batteries included, right? So they're saying whenever everyone runs their uh, script, they see this illegal state exception path to the driver variable must be set okay so earlier we had to download it and set the path but now uh, that thing were taken care by the web driver manager now instead of web driver manager selenium is providing selenium manager out of the box okay and uh, that's what if you want to understand so you can see this complete description right so we are going to implement this selenium manager now and we'll get rid of our web driver manager okay so ba the baseline if you have to sum it up it is like it is exactly how web driver manager was doing now selenium manager will do all those things okay so now let's go to our uh, test case okay so we'll do one thing we'll create a test case and uh, then we'll try to uh, do this selenium manager related things right so before that i need to uh, do one thing okay so let's see first where exactly is this selenium manager is present right so if we go here what is our external libraries so selenium manager uh, let's see first web driver manager okay so here web driver manager selenium selenium framework see web driver manager right boni gracia web driver manager and here if you see we have the these are the different jars okay for the uh, web driver manager if you see here uh, cache panther docker version web driver here we'll have all the web driver docker config okay cache okay and docker related information this is managers okay so here if you see chrome driver manager chromium edge these are the different different uh, drivers managers okay so this is as part of the web driver manager right so but what we are going to do with the selenium manager right we are going to get rid of all those things right and uh, let's see how exactly we can do that so before that uh, we can do one thing we can quickly go and uh, create a script and uh, we'll try to run it right so let's see so uh, we'll can create a test class and in the test class we'll do the uh, this setup and then we'll uh, get rid of this uh, these things from the form.xml okay and uh, then we'll run the our test case okay so how to do that let's first create a class so before that i don't have firefox in my system uh, let me download that Firefox also, okay. 
Firefox browser. This thing. So get Firefox for desktop. Yes. Download Firefox. So okay. Let me install this one also. Okay. Firefox download installer. So double click. Yes. Okay. So let it install. So in the meantime, we'll go and uh, create a new test case. Okay. So test case. So let's say right click new Java class. So let's say TC03. Sorry, TC03. And uh, we'll give a name like uh, Selenium Manager Demo. Selenium Manager Demo. Okay. So now this is the class we are going to create. Okay. Selenium Manager Demo. So what exactly we're going to do here in this Selenium Manager Demo? Okay. So here uh, we are going to uh, create the web driver and uh, we'll have two methods over here. Right. So let's say web driver we are this i am not yet implementing to our framework just i'm just want to show you how exactly it works okay web driver web driver driver okay and uh, here i'll have the three methods like let's say public void uh, void okay uh, in chrome void let's say in chrome okay so execute in chrome or something you can say right or browser chrome let's say browser chrome okay browser chrome and here, uh, let me instance the driver. So driver equals to new Chrome driver. Okay, sorry, new. My bad. Driver equals to new. Capital C. New Chrome driver. Okay, new Chrome driver. I'm creating the new Chrome driver. Then driver dot get right. So driver dot get. So where we're going to go? So we're going to go to the uh, Google. Let's say Google. So https colon double slash www dot google dot com dot com okay so similarly uh, and we can do the driver dot uh, close okay driver dot close just closing the driver instance so similarly uh, I can have for uh, one for age one for the Firefox okay so let's say browser age of Firefox you can say Firefox so new instead of the Chrome driver, so let's make it Firefox driver. Okay, new Firefox driver, and uh, same thing. And uh, last one will make it uh, Edge driver. Okay, so new Edge driver. Okay, so new Edge driver. So now uh, let's change this name to Edge. Okay, so now three things. So we have uh, our three different different browsers. Okay. And uh, now what we're going to do, we can, uh, how to call this methods. So we are going to have a main method, right? So let's say main. And uh, here, let's create the object of the class. SMD equals to new Selenium Manager Demo. Okay. So now, SMD dot uh, browser Chrome. Okay. So let's see. Let's run this one and see whether it is able to run or not. Okay. So here, if you see no web driver manager, do you have any web driver manager imported? No. So any web driver manager related code? No. So just simply I'm saying driver equals to new Chrome driver. I have just instantiated web driver driver, just defined it here. I'm just saying driver equals to new Chrome driver. So I'm just running for the uh, just calling that browser Chrome method, right? So it will go here and it will execute this method. So let's see how exactly it is going to run. So let's run in the no, no, not Chrome run, right click and run here. So right click and run. Okay. So is it installed? Okay. So this is installed. Skip this step. Skip this step. Continue. Okay. So now the Chrome got created and uh, browser got uh, initialized and. Uh, instantiated the browser and it went to your uh, start browsing okay so it went to the google.com and it closed so now firefox is also installed right so now i can do one thing so chrome then i can also call smd dot uh, browser edge and smd dot browser firefox okay so yeah so let's put thread dot slip not in situation thread dot slip let's say Thousand. Okay, so 
stupid. Try that. Okay. Similarly, uh, okay. So traders loop. Let's do one thing. Let's throw the exception. That will be better. So that's okay. You can do the try case or you can throw the exception. Anything is fine. Okay. So I'm just throwing the exception. This is not the right way to do actually. So this is just a demo. So it's okay. So let's uh, run. I'll put this wait after every statement. 10 second of wait. Okay. So now let's run this one. Okay. It should open uh, Chrome, it should open the Edge, and it should open the Firefox also. All the three browsers should get open and it should get executed. So I'm not doing any web driver manager, nothing I'm doing, okay? So it should be uh, get instantiated on its own. What happened? Connection reset. Okay. So this is uh, Edge, okay? So Edge got instantiated. Now it will run, run. Let's see. This is the browser version and the closest version found 116, but uh, our CDP version is the 117. That's what it is saying. Okay, that's okay. So now uh, Firefox also instantiated, and if you see, it navigated to Google Chrome and uh, sorry, into the Google and closed it. Right. So this execution is also done. Right. Okay. So now if you see, um, so now let's see what happened. So we could see like browsers got instantiated, uh, Chrome, Edge, and Firefox, everything is getting instantiated, right? So now, uh, where exactly these drivers are getting downloaded and stored, okay? So if you see, the Selenium Manager is storing the, uh, here actually. So go to your C drive, and go to your user, go to your username, and go to dot .cache, uh, somewhere here should be dot .cache, uh, dot .cache, and now Selenium, now see Chrome driver, and uh, Geekko driver, and uh, MS Edge driver three things are there right so now if you see uh, this these are uh, actually downloaded through your uh, yeah downloaded right this this through windows 64 117 this chrome driver is downloaded so different versions of the driver it has downloaded actually right so we'll do one thing okay so now uh, if you see uh, chrome driver right so we'll do one thing uh, we'll get rid of this uh, web driver manager first and then we'll run it one more time okay so where is your web driver manager? I go to the pom.xml. Mm, these are the okay. That's okay. Go to pom.xml, the web driver manager. Get rid of this dependency. We don't need it. Web driver manager, okay. I'll do one thing instead of that. I will just comment it out. So comment it out. Okay. So comment it out. We don't need it. Okay. So now reload. So it will remove that one. Web driver manager. So it is done. Okay, so fine. So now uh, let's go to your base steps. So we got rid of this web driver manager. Let's go to the base steps. Where is the base steps? So we will get rid of this web driver manager course. See now, see web driver manager cannot resolve small web driver manager because we already got rid of that uh, web driver manager related. Uh, what is that? Web driver manager related dependency. So now it is not able to do that. And here in import also we should have some web driver manager. Right? That also we can get rid of it. Cool. So I think we are good now. Okay. So now let's uh, run this one. So let's go to your edit configuration and Marvin Chrome run. Okay. So open. Let's run it and see. Chrome run. So browser got in instantiated, launched the browser, navigated to the URL, there are two, right? One more is also executing, both are executing, see, both are parallel executing. So now this is with the Selenium manager, this is not with your web driver manager, right? Because we got rid of this web driver manager related dependency, right? Yeah. Now it should get closed. Okay. So close now. 
okay so now if you see let's see the run results so okay. everything is working fine build is successful there is absolutely no issue in that one build is successful both the test cases got executed and passed so now what we need to do here so let's go to that uh, same cache folder and see one more time i just want to show you something c drive so users okay so now cache uh, selenium right so resolution chrome driver repo driver msh driver right and what is this resolution what is this metadata let's open and see so yeah if you see this is kind of uh, web driver manager resolution cache this is see this is coming from the web driver manager right this is and they are saying chrome browser version is 117 and uh, chrome ttl chrome 116 chrome 117 what is the from where they are downloading right so age 117 like that they are keeping all those information right browser related information what is this metadata and this metadata.json if you see so here in the metadata.json they are saying so geco drivers let's see this is for the firefox so which version of the geco driver they are downloading so here if you see browser version is 118 so let's go to the firefox and see what is the browser version of the firefox let's verify this one then we will come to know so help uh, about firefox right so see 118.0.1 so if you go and see 118 okay similarly for the age right age 117 so let's say another one new in private window so if you see here uh, here i'll go and see what is the browser version settings more tools here right settings help and feedback about microsoft edge so if you see here here also if you see uh, it is up to date right so this is 117 point something right so that that's that if you see here it is showing 117 same for the chrome if you go and see that is 117 okay uh, if you see that is how the browser versions are stored over here okay so if you see the browser versions are stored over here and uh, that's how the selenium manager uh, maps the the respective driver with the respective browser version okay so you can see that information with ac metadata.json so what are the changes we made to our uh, framework in order to uh, implement the selenium manager so we first migrated to uh, selenium version right selenium java uh, more than 4.6 if you see our is 4.12.1 so selenium manager is by default present here so we got rid of our web driver manager related dependency and uh, in our base steps where we are initializing the browsers right so there we got rid of our web driver manager related code and we are directly started using the uh, chrome driver firefox driver and edge driver and the selenium manager in turn is taking care of the downloading those uh, dependency and mapping the browser version with respect to the your uh, drivers right so yeah that's all to this class guys and in the next class we'll see few more optimization to our framework and then we'll push it to the git repository and then we'll conclude the uh, this uh, selenium framework development sessions okay so if you guys are really enjoying these sessions i'll request you to subscribe to my channel and please share this uh, with your friends and uh, colleagues so that they can also get benefited out of it and uh, if you have uh, any doubt please uh, ping or please put them in the comment i'll get back to you and uh,